Venus in Capricorn, what is it? Why is it important? And what does it have to do with your relationship? This is what I would love to talk about in this video. And by the way, welcome to my channel. I am Lara Mar. For those of you who are new, I am all about becoming the best self and inspiring you to become the best self. Astrology is one of the greatest tools that I have personally found to deepen my self-awareness and understanding the life in general. Here you go. If you have this position, you would like to watch it because you can find out what kind of relationship would fulfill you the most. So if you have Venus in Capricorn, you need to have stability, some sort of rules, regulations, structure. Venus is the planet of love and relationship. Capricorn represents the structure. So you would be attracted to someone mature, hardworking, responsible, successful, socially validated. And this position indicates that you wouldn't be a big fan of something extraordinary. You value a sense of normality. And in relationship, either you or your partner tend to be very serious about relationships because Saturn, I mean, Capricorn is very serious sign because it's ruled by Saturn. For the first part of your life, especially for the 30 years or so, until you have the first Saturn return, you would have a lot of challenges and obstacles around relationships. It's because whatever it's in Capricorn tends to mature in time. It takes a long time because Saturn is one of the outer planets. It takes almost 30 years to circle around the sun. So it takes time to mature relationship and you need to go through a lot of trials and errors to learn the lesson. We learn the lessons of Capricorn through repetition and you need to put a lot of efforts into it. You would be also attracted to a relationship that requires a lot of obligation, duties, and repetitive tasks. It wouldn't be that romantic and most fun. Rather, it could be a bit boring. You would find emotional satisfaction and fulfillment when you're surrounded by structured regulated environments something predictable conservative and for that reason you'll be attracted to someone who is very capricornian this doesn't mean that your partner has sun moon or rising sign in capricorn though but from your perspective you would see your partner through this lens whoever you meet because this is like a central theme of your relationship that is playing out in your life. Your partner would be pretty serious and hardworking and responsible, mature compared to his or her age, well respected, especially if your Venus is well respected. Your partner would be a workaholic and in terms of career, he or she would be in government, institution, or a big corporation that has history. Capricorn is one of the most traditional and conservative signs. So the way you approach relationship is colored by the zodiac sign. And you would prefer placing a lot of conditions and regulation restrictions in order to create stability in relationships. So if your partner doesn't want this kind of rules then you may need to work around and figure out a way to establish the sense of stability because stability is the core foundation that makes you happy in relationship. Rather than personal intimate relationship, you could have more satisfaction in work-related relationship, business partnership, especially in the younger age. And these people usually have a lot of 
age gap, like six, like minimum six years old. Capricorn represents a hierarchical system and structure. So your relationship is not so much about justice and equality. You'll be attracted to a parental relationship. You and your partner usually parent each other. So it's not like a Libra-like relationship, one-on-one, -on -one, equal collaboration based. You can thrive when there are a lot of restrictions and regulation. You and your partner would also value productivity. So when you have a common goals together to pursue, such as creating a family, creating discipline, structure, schedules, and sharing responsibilities, then you would find more fulfilled. You or your partner, it can go both way, by the way. Uh, you or your partner would seek for social validations. These people usually like to be committed. Officializing a relationship to marriage or agreement. So usually it requires a lot of work and responsibilities and especially if your Venus is expected hardly by any planets then it could be pretty challenging but ultimately in time you're going to develop a quality relationship and that is because Venus is in the sign of friend Saturn rules Capricorn Saturn and Venus are friends oh and you would have a lot of things to fix and repeat and work to improve in relationship one of the things represented by Capricorn is karma so to speak karma is not something that you did seriously wrong in the past so that you fix it but it's more of like rewiring your patterns in life we all have capricorn in our birth chart whatever planets located in capricorn requires a lot of work and in your case you have venus relationship so it's very important to improve your self-worth as well before improving your external relationship even if it's an intimate family or friendship as you improve the way you perceive yourself you're gonna notice that you're attracting a different relationship that is matching with your own personal self-image your personal self-perception you can either attract a totally new person or or you can find your partner expressing more of positive expression of capricorn which is all about being mature responsible authoritative you can be also attracted to professional you can be also attracted to professionals you can find love interest in work environments you may be dating with the boss or authority figures I hope this is helpful and now let me know what you resonated with that the most and what you love the most from this video. I might have missed some points because in astrology it's full of symbols. It's impossible to explain everything because there are just so many possibilities of how this position can be manifested. And physical world but this is like a general thing so if you liked it make sure to like this video consider subscribing to my channel hitting the bell button so you can get a notification when I post a new video and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one thanks for co-creating this experience by the way